everybody and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today I am working on my foyer niche and um, a couple weeks back I had actually um, put wall covering in the niche and um, I've been trying to figure out what to put in there. So um, I purchased a piece of art and um, it's actually more like a sculptural art piece and didn't like that. Um, I've been looking all over the internet and um, I just couldn't really find something that I really liked that I thought would look good with the wall covering. So I finally just decided to get a bunch of frames from Ikea and um, put photographs in them. It, I have, I don't know, I have this thing, I don't care for walking into a house and there's like the first thing you see is pictures of family and I don't know that's just my personal opinion I'd rather those pictures be kind of farther into the house um, like the people that you're inviting into your home will see not the people that are like dropping off a package or something so um so I knew I didn't want them necessarily to be family photos, but um, some kind of photos that we've taken in the past. So I started looking through pictures and decided on, they're basically all landscape pictures that we took on a vacation probably like 12 years ago. So um, the only bad thing about those is that all the pictures I had from back then, I needed enlargements from negatives. And apparently, it's difficult to find places that will actually take negatives now. So, I did take them to a CVS near me, and um, after I was sent there by a different CVS that couldn't help me. No, it wasn't CVS, it was Walgreens. CVS couldn't help me. The one Walgreens I went to couldn't help me, but they directed me to another Walgreens that did have the machine. So I took my negatives there, and when I got back the pictures, the coloration was horrible. Um, this guy had a greenish tint. Everything, um, everything was yellowed. So um, I found a local place that does photography stuff, and they did an amazing job, thank goodness. So I have all my pictures, and um, since I, that was a process finding some place that actually would do the enlargements, um, in the meantime I figured out how I wanted them all arranged on the wall, like all the frames. So, um, and I'll insert pictures of like my process, because I drew out different layouts based on the frame sizes. And I didn't use all the frames that I bought. I just bought a lot because I would rather have too many than not enough. I could always just return it the um, leftovers, leftovers later. So um, once I figured out the layout that I wanted, I figured out which picture so I knew what sizes. And then um, even though I drew out the layout, I still wanted to make sure that I liked the way it looked on the wall. So, um, yeah, I had a newspaper and I had the ad section, so I just pretty much took my frames, put it on top of the ads, and traced out the size of paper that would represent the frame and taped those all up in my niche so I could, you know, definitely get an idea of how I liked the spacing of it. And I did alter them a little bit. But it is pretty much very close to my original drawing. So um, I just got my pictures back now. And now for the fun part. I actually get to put them in the frames, put them up on the wall, and um, move on to a different area of the house. So um, yeah, the frames that I got were the Reba, or Reba frames. And this is the, the big one. Actually, I think they have bigger ones than this. This, I have like a couple size rectangles. And, these, and then I have, uh, let's see. And then I got a couple of these. 
that have the three pictures in one frame. So um, I will get these all put in here and um, I'll show you how it goes. Okay. I have my first one down and this is what it looks like. Um, my only complaint about this is that the slightly off-white mat with the white frame, but I figured I would try to not be, you know, obsessive about it and just go with it. So, um, I think I'm just going to be so happy that there's actually something hanging up in there that um, I'm not really going to care. And I'm not going to really notice it after probably today. I'll just be happy that I have artwork on my wall. And it's actually something that's meaningful. Um, it's, like I said, from a vacation. So um, it'll be nice to actually have these out in the open and be able to remember my, I think it was, um, it's kind of like a first anniversary, belated first anniversary trip. So um, it'll be very nice to be able to see these pictures now. Once I got all my photos in the frames, and then I hung them up in the pattern that I had laid out, and this is my finished product. And I really like the way the white kind of breaks up all the blue while covering, and um, now I have nice memories of a vacation that we took like 12 years ago. I could actually enjoy pictures from that vacation every day now. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you next time. Bye. It's basically the really dirty, messy, embarrassing spot in our house that I always hope that no one ever goes into.